close your eyes and watch your breath. And as the Buddha said, put aside greed and distress with reference to the world. Because you look at the shape of the world right now, it's, it's pretty bad. It could get worse. But if you spend all your time worrying about the world, your mind doesn't get taken care of. Because it's the nature of the world to be swept away. But we want to make sure that our minds don't get swept away with it. Think of King Basena de Goson. Came to see the Buddha one day. And the Buddha said, Where are you coming from in the middle of the day, great king? And the king's in a remarkable display of frankness. He said, Well, I'm coming from the typical things that someone mad about power concerns himself with. And the Buddha said, Suppose someone were to tell you that a huge mountain or moving in from the east, crushing all living beings in its path. Another reliable person came from the south and said, there's a mountain coming in from the south, crushing all living beings in its path. A reliable person from the north, one from the west, same news. A mountain coming from the north, a mountain coming from the west, crushing everything. Given that human life is so hard to come by, what would you do? And the king said, what else could I do but calm my mind and practice the Dharma? And the Buddha said, well, I tell you, aging, illness, and death are moving in, crushing all living beings in their path. What are you going to do? Well, calm my mind, practice the Dharma. Because the worth of human life doesn't lie in the comforts that we have or the conveniences that we have. It lies in the quality of the mind that we develop, our sense of honor, our sense of virtue. And these require really a good, solid mind. So make your mind solid right now, right with the breath. So when unfortunate things happen, you're not swept away. When fortunate things happen, you're also not swept away. Sometimes we get complacent. We think we're special. We're, we have some good karma coming in from the past. And we get lazy. We get complacent. We forget that even when things are going well, especially when things are going well, you want to take the opportunity to practice as much as you can. So that when things get difficult, you'll have that skill that will see you through. Because there is part of the mind that's not going to get crushed by those mountains. It's not going to get crushed by aging, aging illness, and death. And you want to find that and nurture it. And that's what's really valuable in human life.